Hi everyone, it's me, Teacher Jay, and welcome to our channel. For today's video, we are going to discuss Right Triangle Similarity Theorem, or this is what we call RTST. What is this RTST? If the altitude is drawn to the hypotenuse of a right triangle, then the triangles form are similar to the original triangle and to each other. So if you are going to draw an altitude of this right triangle ACB, that is an altitude CD. Okay? And this altitude forms two right triangles. That is right triangle AC or ADC and right triangle BDC. These two triangles or right triangles are similar to the original triangle ACB. So let's separate the three triangles. This is the original triangle ACB or right triangle ACB, then right triangle CDB, and then right triangle ADC. These right triangles po are similar to each other. Meaning, right triangle ACB is similar to right triangle CDB and it is similar to right triangle ADC. So that's what we call right triangle similarity theorem. Let's have the special properties of right triangles. When the altitude is drawn to the hypotenuse of a right triangle, the length of the altitude is the geometric mean between the segments of the hypotenuse. So kapag daw kinukuha natin yung length ng, alti ng ating altitude, which is CD, yun yung geometric mean ng between the segments of the hypotenuse. Ang tinutukan niyang segments, yung AD at saka BD. So let's have this formula. The length of the altitude, which is CD, is equal to square root of the segments of the hypotenuse, which is AD, times DB or BD. Or pedering CD is equal to BD times the square root of BD times AD. Or you can use this formula, square of CD is equal to AD times DB. So parang in-square ko lang po both sides of of the equation ito. Okay? Para magkaroon tayo ng ganitong formula. So, it's up to you if you are going to use the first one or the second one. Let's have another one. When the altitude is drawn to the hypotenuse of a right triangle, each leg is the geometric mean between the hypotenuse and the segment of the hypotenuse that is adjacent to the leg. So, yung tinutukoy niyang leg sa ating right triangle, yun yung AC at saka CD. So, kapag kinukuha daw natin yan, is the geometric mean between the hypotenuse and the leg or the side adjacent to that leg. Okay? So, let's have this one. For example, kinukuha natin yung segment AC or side AC. That is equal to square root of hypotenuse which is AB or segment AB times yung segment AD. Again, AC is equal to square root of AB which is the hypotenuse times yung segment AD adjacent to that side. Or you can use this one, in square ko lang po both sides of this equation para magkaroon tayo ng ganitong uh, formula. And another one, if you are going to get the segment CB or BC, is just equal to square root of yung hypotenuse natin, okay, is equal to, or AB times BD. Or pwede rin namang square root of BD times AB. Or you can use this formula, square of BC is equal to AB times BD, or BD times AB. So let's have this example. Given triangle TRI with altitude RM. So based on the illustration, if MI is 20 
and Tm is 5, find Rm. So, ang kinukuha natin yung altitude. So, we are going to use the formula. Altitude Rm is equal to the square root of Tm, which is 5, times Mi. So, by substitution, we have Rm is equal to square root of 5 times 20. And that is the square root of 100. So, Rm is equal to square root of 100. Square root of 100, that is 10. So, Rm now, or the altitude now, is 10 units. Let's have another example. Same triangle, which is TRI with altitude Rm. If IT is 8, so yung IT natin is 8, and Tm is 4, find Tr. So again, we are going to use this formula. This leg Tr is equal to Tm, or pwede ring It, times Tm, or pwede ring Tm times It. So by substitution, Tr is equal to square root of 4 times 8. Yung TM natin ay 4. Tapos yung IT natin ay 8. And then simplify this one. We have TR is equal to square root of 32. And 32 is not a perfect square, but factorable. We are going to get the factors of 32. We have 16 times 2. And then... Simplify this, square root of 16, that is 4, square root of 2, that is square root of 2. So the length of TR is 4 square root of 2 units. Let's have another example, given triangle TRI with altitude RM. If IM on this segment is 5, and IT is 9, units find ri so we are going to get the segment or this side ir or ri so using this this formula ri or ir is equal to square root of im or pwedeng it ano po? so im times it or it times im so, by substitution, this is Ri. So, Ir is equal to square root of 5 times 9. And then, Ir now, this is Ir, is equal to 5 times 9, that is 45. So, Ir is equal to square root of 45. 45 is not a perfect square, but it is factorable. So, we need to get the factors of 45, that is 9 times 5. Okay? Then, square root of 9, that is 3. And then, square root of 5, that is 5. So, ang IR natin, that is equal to 3 square root of 5. Let's have another example. We are going to find X, Y, and Z based from the figure. So, unahin muna natin punahanin yung value ng x. So, since given yung altitude natin, which is 6, so, kunin muna natin yun. Okay? So, we have 6 times or is equal to square root of 9 times x. Simplify natin yan, 9 times x, that is 9x. So, we have 6 is equal to square root of 9x. To solve for x, we are going to square both sides of the equation. So we have a square root square of 6 is equal to square of square root of 9x. Simplify this, we have 36 is equal to 9x. Square of square root of 9x, that is 9x. And then simply use MPE. X now is equal to 4. So the value of x is equal to 4. So 4 po yan. 
Next, nahanapin natin yung value po ng y. Okay? To find this segment or yung y, we have this formula. y is equal to the square root of yung 4 po, this side, yun yung ating x, adjacent to this side, yung y. So, square root of 4 times yung buong, yung buong segment na ito, which is the hypotenuse, which is 13. Kasi nga, 4 plus 9, that is 13. Okay? So, simplify natin yan. We have y is equal to 2 square root of 13. Square root of 4, that is 2. Square root of 13, that is square root of 13. So, the value of y is 2 square root of 13 units. Let's find z. So, itong segment naman na ito. So, z now is equal to square root of yung adjacent side natin, which is 9. Okay? 9 times yung hypotenuse po natin, which is 9 plus 4, that is 13. Okay? So, we have z is equal to square root of 9 times 13. Simplify natin yan. z now is equal to square root of 9, that is 3. Square root of 13, that is square root of 13. So, the value of z is equal to 3 square root of 13. Let's have another example. Find u, v, and w. So, parang the same lang po dun sa example number 4. So, again, kunin mo na natin yung, since given yung ating altitude, pwede na natin kunin yung, yung u. Okay? So, the formula is 9, yung ating altitude, is equal to the square root of 3 times u. Simplify natin yan. We have 9 is equal to square root of 3u. And then square both sides of the equation. We have square of 9 is equal to square of square root of 3u. Then simplify. We have 81 is equal to 3u. And then by using MPE, u now is equal to 27. So the value of u is equal to 27. Next, we are asked to find V. V is equal to the square root of yung adjacent side natin, which is 3, times yung hypotenuse natin, dun sa malaking triangle, which is 30, kasi nga yung U natin ay 27. So, 3 plus 27, that is 30. And then, simplify natin yan. V now is equal to square root of 90. 90 is factorable. So, the factors are 9 and 10. So, we have v is equal to square root of 9 times 10. Simplify, v now is equal to 3 square root of 10 units. Let's have w. w is equal to the square root of, okay, yung adjacent side niyan, which is u, which is 27, times buong uh, hypotenuse po natin, yung length ng ating hypotenuse, which is 30. Okay? And then, simplify natin yan. 27 times 30, that is 810. 810 is not a perfect square, but we need to get the factors of this. Which one of the factors is a perfect square? That is 81 times 10. And then, square root of 81, that is 9. Square root of 10, that is square root of 10. So, the value of W is 9 square root of 10. So, kapag may questions po kayo, you can type your questions po sa ating comment section. Keep safe and God bless.